Hi guys, welcome back to another software review video on my channel. Today's video is about TechSmith Camtasia 2019 screen recorder. Let's see how it works in different scenarios to figure out what the pros and cons of the program. At the end of this video, you will know whether you want to pay $249 for the license, or ignore it. Keep watching until the end. First thing first, let's talk about its capability. Camtasia 2019 lets you record almost anything happening on your computer screen in full screen mode, a custom area, or a lock application. You can select record your webcam, and audio at the same time too. That's very basic features of a good screen recording software. Let's me show you some more things right at the recording toolbar menu. Here you go to tools, select options. Your pre-recording settings will appear in a pop-up window. In general tab, there are a couple of important things you may want to know. By default, Camtasia will capture your keyboard shortcuts, which means all the keyboards you use during the recording will be captured by Camtasia. It looks like this example. With Camtasia, you can easily modify the keyboard display type, and position later in its editor. You can leave other settings here by default. In the input tab, you can select maximum FPS you want it to capture. Being noticed that Camtasia 2019 screen recorder lets you capture video up to 30 FPS only. If you want to capture high FPS games, it will not work properly. Your audio input, volume level can be customized here too. Uncheck this box if you don't want to record system audio. If you select record your webcam, or a camera, connected to your computer, you can customize its lighting settings right here. For example, I turned on webcam recording function, but the lighting condition in my room is not very good. Let's turn on the low light compensation option, you will see the difference. As you can see, the image is much brighter now. At the shortcut tab, you can choose the shortcut you want to use, such as how to start, pause, or stop the recording. These shortcut keyboards are customizable with Camtasia 2019. There are a couple of things such as adding annotations, system stamp, drawing tools etc. You can take a look if you want. Here are a couple of recordings I created with Camtasia 2019. I captured a streaming football match on YouTube, a gameplay, and a short software tutorial with Camtasia. Being noticed that, whenever you hit stop recording, you will be redirected to Camtasia video editor for further editing work. Your recording is not finished yet. You must render, or export that file to get the final result. That's one of the major differences between Camtasia and other screen recorders on the market. For me, it's a pros as I can cut out unwanted parts in the recording, add annotations to my tutorial. It may be a cons to those of you who don't need further editing work as it takes more time to render the recording. If you want to know what Camtasia Video Editor can do with the recording, or your videos, watch my previous published Camtasia 2019 tutorial for beginner, which I put the link on top of the video. Alright, let's talk about its pros and cons now. First thing I noticed when using Camtasia Screen Recorder is the capability to customize the cursor effect afterward in its video editor. It's very useful as I am not quite good at pointing my cursor at the right place while talking. Secondly, the program will record separated audio track, one track for audio from the microphone, and system sound comes together with the video. This workflow gives you an option to record your narration after you finish screen recording. Thirdly, this screen recorder is one of the most lightweight software I've tried. It does not cause jerking issue when I run the program like other tools. Finally, this screen recorder comes along with a bunch of useful features in its video editor for our online trainers. This is the main reason why so many people love to use Camtasia. Let's talk about the cons now. The very first thing you should be noticed when using Camtasia screen recorder is of course the time consuming workflow. You will need to render your recording again once you finish it. Secondly, you can only record maximum 30 FPS, 
which is not enough for those of you who want to record gameplay, or live streaming movie that is broadcasting above 30 FPS. Thirdly, screenshot tool is missing in this software. It's easy to understand as TechSmith is also selling Snagit, a powerful screenshot tool at $49.95. Finally, Camtasia 2019 license price is pricey compared to other alternatives I found on the market. That's everything I want to say about TechSmith Camtasia 2019 screen recorder in today's video. I hope you got all needed information to make your own decision. If you have any question about this software, don't hesitate to leave your comment below. For those of you who want to try Camtasia 2019 free trial version, go ahead to the links in the description. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next videos. Bye for now.